he was inspired by uh, an art show of an artist named Hartmann, not a famous artist. We probably wouldn't know anything about him if it weren't for pictures and exhibition. But he put this piece together as if you were walking through a museum. And as you pass each painting, you reflect on it, you feel, and, it, and he expressed this in music. He even has a wonderful theme called the promenade, which really is walking. And you can actually see, I think, Mussorgsky walking through the museum, looking at these pictures. And sometimes as he's walking, he's reflecting on the picture he just saw. Or sometimes then he catches a glimpse of the next picture, and you can almost see that in the music. So it's a fascinating piece. And it's a piece that is thrilling and grandiose at the end. It's a piece that's witty. Uh, there's a wonderful scene called Limoges, which is, uh, takes place in a marketplace, and everybody's coming in and gossiping, and the big news of the day is uh, somebody's cow got loose and you know, ran away from the farm. <laughs> so there's a lot of wit. Uh, there is melancholy. There's a beautiful, uh, sad song of a minstrel near an old castle. There is a, a sort of witches, there's a, there's a movement about an old witch uh, with all that uh, imagination. There's a trip through the catacombs. It's wonderful. And he's able to change the mood rapidly, instantly, from picture to picture. So I think this is a piece uh, that has enormous amount of force and power. And I'm sure that our young people, and of course our middle-aged people and older people, uh, who may not know it, would be thrilled to this. And of course, the end of this, and I'm imagining this with the Chicago Symphony, I don't have to imagine it, I conducted it once before, that the end of this is one of the most glorious sounds that you can imagine. I think that that's a, uh, it's a great piece for our audience. It's a great piece for uh, one score, one Chicago. <laughs>